Yo, what is going on guys? It is Wednesday, November 25th. So in my previous video, I was telling you I was waiting on the AMD Ryzen 9 5950X to come in. And I just got that in, so I got that installed in my, in my MSI Meg Ace X570 motherboard. And cooled by Corsair H115i uh, XT Pro. And also I got the ASUS TUF still uh, 3090. And 32 gigabytes of uh, G-Skill CL14 3200 megahertz memory. So I did a quick little uh, all-core overclock on the Ryzen 950X, and I got it to uh, 4.7 gigahertz all-core, voltage 1.360, and then I overclocked to ASUS Tough 3090, an additional 90 megahertz on the core, 600 megahertz on memory, and uh, let's see what else. So and I also did get a Series X, but I'm not really messing with that right now because there's really no good games to mess with to play on there. So anyways, Time Spy. Uh, score 19,391, graphics score 20,470, CPU score uh, 14,935. And then that was with uh, this overclock, which I had on my screen earlier with MSI up the burner. So GPU core clock 1485, boost 1785, and then of course the Ryzen 9 5950 at 4.7 gigahertz. And then I also did a quick test with Sinbench 20. And then uh, the Ryzen 5950X got 11,917. So I'm going to be running a lot of tests. Obviously, it's going to be a lot of time to uh, run everything and all the games that I previously did on my previous uh, chip, which was the i9-10900K by Intel. And the reason I went to AMD was mainly because um, I was just tired of waiting on Intel to finally, you know, improve their nanometer or decrease the size and also I was waiting on PCI Gen 4 with my uh, 980 Pro SSDs which I have in RAID 0 which I did uh, in a previous video I showed my score so let me go over there real quick give me one second so this was uh, the speeds I got with the 980 Pro in RAID 0, so a nice uh, significant rate speed of 12,000, a little over 12,000 megabits per second, and a rate speed of 9,100, so very uh, thorough, decent speed. So, yeah, like I said, I'm going to be testing everything out, and uh, I don't know, for the gaming test, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it at 4.7 gigahertz, and maybe I'll lower it to 4.6 gigahertz, just to keep the heat a little bit lower, so I might just do that and run all my other games that I tested previously, like... Uh, Flight Simulator 2020, I got, uh, let's see, Metro Exodus, uh, I'll probably test Battlefield 5, Watch Dogs Legion, and also, of course, Red Dead Redemption 2, which is a pretty killer uh, game to test out the 3099. So yeah, so I'm going to be testing uh, more stuff, and uh, just stay tuned and be patient, because uploading 4K videos does take a while, uh, at least for them to transcode and everything. So uh, yeah, so that's... Uh, what's going on and then as for the series x uh really not much to see because i mean the games right now are basically not really fully optimized so i really can't say much about it other than you know it's uh you know fast obviously it boots up quickly and if you guys want to see some videos on that i'll be happy to make some videos so until then keep watching and uh stay tuned and uh we'll take it from here so ryzen 9 950x got her installed so i'll be running some tests and i'll be busy uh this uh holiday weekend and then for those of you uh celebrating uh happy thanksgiving for tomorrow and i hope you guys have a good time with family and have a safe peaceful time so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys around lose wx signing out and stay tuned for more computer content soon thanks peace out